former President George Bush just broke a shocking record that no president has ever accomplished before. President George H.W. Bush has officially reached a new milestone in U.S. presidential history. He became the longest living United States president on Saturday, reaching 93 years old and 166 days. Gabe Fleischer, who is a writer for a daily political newsletter coin Wake Up to Politics, was the first to note this fact on Twitter. Former President George W. Bush was born on June 12, 1924. This means he has managed to beat the previous record held by former President Gerald R. Ford, who passed away in 2006 at the age of 93 years and 165 days old. Behind him is Ronald Reagan who passed on in 2004 at 93 years and 120 days old. Jimmy Carter, who is still alive and kicking is the second oldest living president. Carter was born on October 1, 1924 and is 111 days younger than H.W. Bush. Bush originally served as Reagan's vice president during the 1980s and then went on to ride Reagan's coattails to win the presidency and become the 41st president of the United States. He was 64 years old when he entered office in 1989. Although Bush isn't jumping out of airplanes for his birthday anymore. He celebrated his 93rd birthday on the coast of Maine and has remained active over the past few years, boating with his family and friends. Sadly this year he has faced multiple health complications, twice being admitted to the hospital for pneumonia and chronic bronchitis. Via Undercover Politics Heather Lind, the former star of AMC's political drama series Turn, Washington Spies has accused former President George H.W. Bush of sexual assault in an Instagram post that has since been deleted. The actress posted that the former president touched her rear end while taking a photo at a March 2014 press event celebrating the television series. Lynn said she believed the action classifies as sexual assault and felt that Bush viewed it as a failed attempt at humor. She also wrote that a security guard who witnessed the incident blamed her for the action for standing too close to the president and that former First Lady Barbara Bush knew what had occurred but just rolled her eyes in dismissal. She later went on to add that she was deeply disturbed by a photo she saw of former President Barack Hussein Obama shaking hands with George H. W. Bush in a gathering of ex-presidents while they were organizing aid to states and territories damaged by recent hurricanes. She lost faith in her messiah, poor thing. Vile Press Herald George H. W. Bush apologizes after actress Heather Lynn says he groped her. A spokesman for Bush doesn't explicitly deny the allegation, but says he most sincerely apologizes if his attempt at humor offended Miss Lynn. Former President George H. W. Bush apologized after actress Heather Lynn said he groped her as they posed for a picture at an event a few years ago, and that his wife, Barbara Bush, saw it happen. In a brief response to the allegations, which Lynn detailed in a recent Instagram post that she has since deleted, a spokesman for the 93-year-old former president did not explicitly deny Lynn's account but said in a statement, President Bush would never, under any circumstance, intentionally cause anyone distress, and he most sincerely apologizes if his attempt at humor offended Miss Lynn. Bush's spokesman released a fuller statement Wednesday evening that acknowledged Bush touched Lind. Heather Lind, his security guard told me I shouldn't have stood next to him for the photo. Reuters, Mark Blinge At age 93, President Bush has been confined to a wheelchair for roughly five years, so his arm falls on the lower waist of people with whom he takes pictures. To try to put people at ease, the president routinely tells the same joke, and on occasion, he has patted women's rears in what he intended to be a good-natured manner. Some have seen it as innocent, others clearly view it as inappropriate. To anyone he is offended, President Bush apologizes most sincerely. Lynn said the incident happened when she met Bush four years ago during a promotion of a historical television show she was working on. Lynn played Anna Strong in AMC's revolutionary war rare drama, Turn, Washington Spies which premiered in 2014. She said Bush sexually assaulted her as she stood next to him during a photo op. He touched me from behind from his wheelchair with his wife Barbara Bush by his side. He told me a dirty joke. And then, all the while being photographed, 
He touched me again, Lind wrote on Instagram. Okay honey, time for a wake up call honey. Former President George H.W. Bush is 94 years old. The man has never been accused of any inappropriate actions until you came along. At 94 years old people aren't at their best, the man can't even walk and has been wheelchair ridden for years now. His mental abilities and the ability to discern right from wrong are not at their best at his advanced age. Maybe if you removed your head from your rear end once in a while you would actually know this and you would just have taken his actions as coming from someone who sadly just isn't operating on all eight cylinders anymore. I am sure the people you had to deal with while making it in Hollywood weren't 93 years old and in a wheelchair. In fact, they very well knew what they were doing, and so did you when you did your nude scene in Boardwalk Empire back in 2011. Although he has suffered from declining health lately, this hasn't stopped him from going after the ladies. In all 10 women have come out accusing the former president of touching their rear ends from his wheelchair, President Bush has since apologized for this actions. But no matter what side of the political aisle you reside on, you can't help but marvel at the man's virility considering his advanced age. Stage.